Have you ever wanted to own a restaurant? No, I haven't either. That seems like a lot of stress. But either way, uh, I wanted to show off this game. This has been... Uh, I, like, I, I don't even know why I'm trying to make it out like it's a secret. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's my restaurant. This game is everywhere. If you go to games, the game section on Roblox, look at this. This is number three with 113,000 players. This game is a little weird for me because there's obviously already a restaurant tycoon game that exists and it's very similar. So I was at first hesitant to make the video, but after watching a few people make theirs, I do see quite enough differences where it's worth making this one. And it has 113,000 players. Let's go. So here we go. We're in the game. Oh, special deal. Starter bundle for 200 Robux. You get a stainless stove, a dishwasher, counters. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get that. Hasn't even been 10 seconds and I already spent Robux. Oh, this game's going to milk me dry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, Raggy Rocky, welcome to my restaurant. I'll be showing you around. Okay, cool. Thank you. Next. Uh, let's get you some customers. First, you must open your restaurant. Okay, open. Okay, look, you have a customer. Give them a seat by interacting with them. You want a chair. Okay, E. Okay, cool. He'll take his seat automatically. Okay, he's ordering. Do I have to go take his menu? Okay, cool. Now I go... Okay, I walk it to the order stand and I press E. Now I gotta cook it myself. Why does this guy walk so weird? He wants an egg. Cook it up for five whole seconds here. Boom, we're done. Now let's give it to our guy. We're gonna name this guy Bob. There you go, Bob. Oh, I have to bring it here just to take it back to go bring it to the guy so we can eat. Which I cooked an egg, but he's eating pasta now, so I don't even know what's going on. So anyway, here we go. You complete your first order. Nice job, thank you. While your customer eats, let me show you the big shop. The big shop is where you get things to purchase for your restaurant. You can buy better furniture, upgrade appliances. I don't care about any of this. Customer's almost done eating. It won't take long. Okay, cool. Oh, he's done. Okay, now we gotta get the dirty dish and the money. Bring the dish to the dirty dish place where it can then be done. Awesome job, Ragai Rocky. We're now going to close. Oh, I can't close. It's in the... Now that you've earned some money, you can hire an employee to help out. Okay, let's hire a restaurant. Let's... You can either hire a waiter or a cook. Uh, I think I'm going to hire the cook. How do I do that? You've got a new friend. Well, he's an employee. Let's not get that straight. Okay, I'll get these two to their seats. Uh, Preston, get ready for to take... To cook. Uh... Does he just walk around too? Oh, I guess I can help him out. I'll help out our cook. There we go. That way we can get more money faster. This is the, the game is pretty straightforward. It's like a cooking tycoon. But what can we do to make our restaurant worse? Oh God, there's so many people. To you, lady. Now you're both eating. Get him his food. Uh, hello. Uh, E, there you go. Oh, I interacted with all of them. Do we have enough space for, oh, we do have enough space for all of them. Okay, cool. Keep coming. After this, we're going to close and go to the uh, the big store or whatever. You keep going, Preston. Once Preston's done here, he'll bring the food on over. We'll give it to this this lady. Okay, he's done. Are you sure you want to close your restaurant? Yes. They're a little mad we don't get their money. That's okay. That's okay. So here we go. Here is the, the big shop. Let's see what this is all about. Also, let's get the music uh, disabled here. No, you just can't get rid of music. Okay, cool. It doesn't work. Okay, so here we go. We got to upgrade our place. Now, look at all this stuff. This is all cookware. This is all cleaning ware. It's pretty well organized. It's a pretty cool... What do we got up here? Daily deals. An order stand. We don't need more another order stand. We don't need a stainless... Now, a plant. That, we're talking. We can afford a plant. You must have VIP to purchase this item at a disc... What do we got here? Is this floors? Okay, so our floor, I'm feeling... I'm feeling a wooden floor. Oh, wait. We can't afford it. Right. We're too broke. Okay, let's head on back to our place here. What is this? What's the royal bond? Oh, we don't need that. That's a lot of Robux. Okay, here we go. Let's head on back. We've served seven customers. Okay, but the w the place needs a little bit of work. So let's go into uh, decor. We have a modern lamp. Okay, let's put our modern lamp. We'll put the modern lamp between these two tables. Yeah, put the jukebox over there. What do we got for furniture? We got a red booth. Oh, wait. We have eight red booths. Oh, we have a lot more stuff than I realized. Oh, because that starter pack. And we'll put these two here and here. Do we have any? Now we got modern tables. Yeah, we got 12. Oh, that works. Great. So we, we have two. We have some booths now. And now we'll get some modern chairs. Oh, dude. Our place is going up in rating. Let me tell you. This is going to take six tables, but that's okay. It's worth it. We can fit six people at that one. And then we got uh, how many tables? We got two tables left. So we'll do um, a few individual seaters. Uh, which, no, we'll do this. We'll do this, and we'll get the chairs, and we'll go boop, boop, boop. Oh, we can get floors. Oh, we don't need a second floor yet. No, 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 we're good. So there we go. So we got our tables all laid out nice and slick. Now we can get countertops, which are going to look better than our current countertops. So let's let's delete what we got for counters right now. I don't really think it matters which way they go. In. Oh, yes, it does. It very much matters. Okay. This place is starting to look better already. I think this is starting to look like a proper restaurant. Uh, what else do we have? Appliances. We have a stainless dishwasher. Oh, that'll be nice. So that's 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 an upgrade. So we'll put that there, I guess. Uh, 
Is that backwards? Because it doesn't have... Oh, it is. Okay, so we'll put that there. We have a stainless stove, which we can put there to cook even more stuff. And then we get the golden tip jar, which we are going to put... Uh, can I not put it on a countertop? Oh, I see. It goes like here. So we'll, we'll put that right uh, here. There we go. Perfect. So now we have that. Or should we put that near the entrance? Let's put that near the entrance. Okay, here we go. Let's put the golden tip jar right there. Perfect. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's open up our shop and see how much business we can do this time. We instantly got uh, this lady who I'm going to call Janine. Hello, Janine. Now, you can buy money straight up. Now, I actually might buy four. I'm going to, no, I am. I'm going to buy $4,000 so I can get employees to help make this way more automated. Who are you? Let's buy ourselves Bob here and let's buy ourselves Jack and David. We have both. Our server seems to be taking care of people and getting them situated. Now, to see, oh, and he does all the food deliveries and everything. Cool. So now it's completely automated. By having waiters and cooks, my entire thing is automated. We have two stoves that they can cook on. So everyone's going to be getting their stuff very quickly and I'll be able to get my money much, much quicker. Now, can you undercook the food or can you set the kitchen on fire? Now, they, these are the questions I want to do. Because the whole goal of this is to get a massive restaurant and burn it to the ground. I just don't know if I can do that yet. Let's get this guy his taco. There's your taco. Oh, we're actually making some good money pretty quick. It's scalable. It's pretty scalable. Okay, here we go. Let's take your order. Let's take your order. Oh my god, this is so chaotic. Ah! Let's stop letting new people in for a sec. And we also seem to be getting tips from the tip jar, which does help. I'm sorry, all you sad people. I apologize. But now we are still currently a level one store. And I think it's because we need more upgrades. So it seems like you can get second stories and third stories and all sorts. Of, so this guy has three stories. So let's go look at a few of other people's restaurants to get an idea of what we can do here. So this is um, Bong Mike's. And he has served almost 4,000 customers. Uh, he's got a lot of modern appliances. Oh, I like how he has it set up. He's maximized the amount of seats. So his is very, while it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing, it's maximized for people so you can get a lot of people in here very quickly so let's go up to his second floor where he has even more staff and stuff going on you go to his third floor he has even more going on so this is super scalable you can be bringing in a ton of money all at once so let's let's work on getting out of here because he's not even here he's just collecting his money but this is so far the biggest restaurant that i've seen uh, at three stories though it looks like we have a few one and two stories over this way that we'll also check out this person who has two things has served over 1,400 customers oh this looks great so everyone kind of sits around this communal table. You got this cool little tiki entrance. I like the plants and kind of the entry walkway. So they've done a lot with their decorating, which I like. This place, um, oh wow. Oh yeah, so they've done some stuff here for sure. So they got a clear kitchen area. Each table is labeled out. I don't like how it's all two seaters once again. Uh, and this, the upstairs is the same thing. Um, oh wait, wait, is the upstairs the same thing? No, upstairs actually has bigger tables. That's for the bigger dining. So let's go to the next one. Oh wait, how many customers did they have? They had 2,000. Uh, 500 sports for life has had 91 and his is the basic uh, unit and then we're at big shopping oh there's a four story oh god oh wait vip is only 400 uh you get one thousand dollar paycheck every 15 minutes two time chance to get vip cut oh let's get this oh what's my star code thanks for asking use star code rye guy rocky at checkout I don't think he understands exactly what just happened, but thanks for the free promo. You start going Rag Guy Rocky. Okay, so anyway, here we go. So this restaurant, once again, pretty cool. You got these tiki's. You got, oh, I like this. You got this little bakery here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, there's the guy. I think that's the guy who owns it. Maycole? Is that the guy who owns it? Yeah. He has served 18,000 customers with the upstairs being a VIP, the down middle being uh, pretty much the same as the bottom floor, but that's super cool. So that's so cool. I like I like his. That's a really cool restaurant, but they all seem to have similar designs. I haven't seen too many that are... Um, upgraded we actually have some money now to spend so let's see if we can get some better cookware for our place like this is twenty two thousand dollars i can't afford that nine thousand that's four thousand this here is fourteen hundred a better stove now i think i have this one here the stainless stove which is four thousand dollars a piece that's quite a bit what is the golden the luxury stove is two hundred thousand a piece that's that's a lot of money um hmm. what do we got over here for cleaning we also have the luxury dishwasher can do 35 dishes at once and this is cooks food at blazing speeds this is very interesting well now that we're vip we can get all this stuff here so we can get 25 percent off all these like countertops and the stainless dishwasher which we already did have these stainless steel counters are pretty cool at 400 a piece we could buy like 10 of those and make our second floor kind of stainless steel themed uh that could be kind of the the route we go um there's also a lot more nice lighting i think if we we do a top floor 
If we do a top floor that is luxury, a middle floor that is kind of like in the middle, and a bottom floor that is at the bottom. What is a money tree? Yeah, I'll buy a money tree. Can I put a money tree at my place? What is it? What does it do? And these are just plants. Okay, these are just plants for your place. Oh, these would be cool at the entryway. So I think each floor is going to be a tier up. So let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and work on this restaurant and grind up this restaurant real quick. Get it to three stories, a luxury, a middle, and a bottom floor. And then we're going to be back. So, uh, And I'm also saying that because my camera's about to die. Okay, so after <clears throat> spending way too many Robux and making this work, ba-boom, here is our restaurant. Let's show it off. So first off, I got to show off uh, what we got going on. So the bottom floor is meant to look like a simple little diner thing. You know, your cheap little rundown wooden diner. Um, so it, it's basically how it looked before. I even set the counters back to wood because I thought the wood just looked better. But if we move on up to our second floor, that's where things start to get pretty nice. We now have this as our second floor, an entire area that is dedicated to uh, this really nice sort of um, just kind of like white cafe feel. It's meant to have this sort of modern aesthetic. Let's get some stuff on the ovens here. I don't know why none of our chefs are, are making their way up here right now. Um, oh, there's a chef. Okay, cool. So there is chefs making their way up. But then the third floor is where it gets even crazier. Look at our third floor. This is the luxury floor where we literally went ahead and got the most expensive oven and dishwasher just for up here. So it should be able to cook food in pretty fast amounts of time. So let's just see how quick that is. Oh my goodness. So I can literally just step here, cook, Step here, cook. So I think some of our stuff's gonna need some more upgraded stuff because this is almost instantaneous. So let's bring this guy his food. So this is our luxury area though. So we have all this nice, it's meant to have this, it has this rare gem thing that should attract celebrities. Um, on top of that, we have a money tree. We have a bunch of uh, luxury tables and stuff. So this should attract a much uh, larger crowd, hopefully. Um, we'll find out. I have to bring this dish to the dishwasher, which again should be able to wash it pretty quick But this money tree here is really cool because um, if I eat on it I get a thousand dollars and I can collect that I think all the time or like whenever it respawns I think it might be once a day, but either way. So yeah, so this is our restaurant We got three floors all bringing in tons of money now all operating effectively I probably should get a few more staff members would probably be my one um, gripe. We definitely need more waiters uh, than I realized in fact, let's get ourselves another uh, waiter. How much is that? 200 Robux? I don't even have enough Robux. We need more waiters, though. Um, but either way, this should be good enough. Oh, my God. This guy's rich. Oh, he's a money stack guy. Thank you for $300. We got a rich guy. I bet that was because some of the changes we made. So now we're getting some better stuff because we also have better food items, better recipes that we've upgraded and everything else. So this is actually really cool. So I'll help out down here for a sec. Dude, running this restaurant is actually insanely hard. But my restaurant came out looking amazing. So we got all these clientele, all these people who are going to give us money. Uh, and we should be making money at a much, much faster rate. Let's go to floor two. Check out floor two. Floor two is still kind of empty. People aren't too excited about floor two. Two. Floor three is popping though. Uh, if you look at floor three, floor three is actually popping off quite a bit. We definitely need some more luxury food items. That is definitely something we're missing to bring in the bigger clientele. Uh, but to do that, we would have to get a lot of stuff. So as you can see, it's 35 Robux just to unlock this chicken. Oh, I have enough for that. that. So that, you know what? We will upgrade. We'll get some soups in here. And it looks like we can also uh, possibly get a muffin as well. Okay, we can get a muffin as well. Okay, cool. So we actually got some new uh, food items. So let's go take some orders here. Grab that. Take your order. Take your order. Bring all of this back. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so then we go over here. Oh my god, even more money. Dude, you see how fast this adds up? Take your order. It's just so much quicker. It's so crazy. So uh, we got to bring food out to people at the same time. Man, there's just so many steps to this puzzle. We leveled up! We got to cook and two waiters. Okay, so where is this going? This is going to this person on a different floor. Okay. So it looks like you can kind of have the... You don't need a stove on each one, though. It does help. So hold on a second. Does that mean I just automatically unlocked that stuff or no? So since I already bought them, I didn't actually unlock the level 5 or level 7 requirements. So unfortunately, we still got to keep leveling up and gaining XP. But that's going to take a while. So I'm probably going to let this grind out over the next few days, see what happens. And maybe I'll put a pro, uh, uh, an update over on my uh, Instagram, Instagram.com forward slash Rye Guy Rocky, and I'll just post a little story showing you guys where my restaurant is a few days. I'm going to try and get all nine floors fully decked out. We'll see what happens. So anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of my restaurant, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes on this video, and I'll see you all. Ow. See you all next time.